Columbia River out there. We're on uh, the Washington side of the river. And uh, we're heading along toward I-5. Where we'll uh, pick up to the north a bit and we're gonna head off toward Mount St. Helens this morning. Yeah. Columbia River is a really quite large river. St. Helens vicinity, and it's in this area now that all the trees, about 14 miles away from the uh, Mount St. Helens proper, were blown down in the uh, explosion in uh, May 1980. Well, I this, guess this is the point I've been looking at, that's not it, right? Okay, I guess not. This is still, this is the Toodle River here? Is that it? Yes, that it? You know, off in the distance there, then I think is the bowl. I think that we don't quite see most of it, but I think those snow patches are down inside the edges of the Mount St. Helens. We're well within the blowdown zone here in, in the uh, monument, but if you look across here, you can see sheltered by some relatively minor ridges, there's pockets of larger trees that got sheltered from the blast effects still living. I think we're about 10 miles away right now from Mount St. Helens, which is off that way, shrouded in some snow and, and clouds. A little mountain on the uh, right side of the image here is Spud Mountain, and back to the right is a uh, singed area to the left. is all below down. And of course, Mount St. Helens is in the center right here. And you don't see quite up the crater here. It's around to the left and faces out to the left. All down below here is ash and pumice. You can see blown down trees right below down here. And as we look out here again, Mount St. Helens on the right, Mount Adams is off in the distance out in this crevice here, shrouded in clouds. This is all blow down off to the left as well. Little river down there, eroding through the ash, hummocks of ash down there. Pretty sparsely populated with plants at this point.
gophers are the salvation of this land, the parks person up there is saying. And down this valley, the Total River and the mud flows continued off for tens of years. We were close to the finger itself. You can see trees littering the uh, hillside still, not much growing back in place on the scoured surfaces. A lot of the trees end up. We're five miles away, I guess, from the crater proper. This is the side of the mountain that blew away and slumped down in this direction. Anna, you can walk along here. And you can see these trees pointed in our direction, kind of embedded in some of the mass that got blown out here this way. It's uh, partially buried. So there's bark on it. up to the so-called observatory. There's a lot of parking up here. I guess they, a lot of people come through here. We're in this place of quiet desolation. There used to be a pristine forest to see that crater the side of the mountain that it slid away. Still pristine and unfettered by anything but a zillion people. <laughs> it's it's become eight dollars eight dollars a person. Yeah, add this up. And uh, most of the uh, visitor stops along the way are privately owned, uh, sell you stuff in mass, and uh, it's quite a deal. Although they did build some expensive. Um, Healy Bob's here. Spirit Lake over there. Looks like something on the Nevada Desert at this point.
Now, they could take it from the same vantage point. I mean, yeah. I'd say. What do you think? You're going to go to the top there, Ray? Yep. Nope. Muir Camp, right about where? Right about up there is Muir Camp? I think so. See any people up there? Um, no, I'm looking. I see some scuffed up snow. The winter up there. Here we can see the glaciers a little better. Somewhere up in this vicinity is where the Muir Camp is. You can kind of see some of the blue of the glaciers in this area. Oh, there's 
they tumble on down the uh, slopes here. Six thousand feet. The snowboarders are gonna climb up two and a half miles to, along the trail to I don't know where exactly, but um, there's two to ten feet of snow down here at six thousand feet, and there's probably wonderful snow up higher, and they're gonna snowboard all day. The trails are all covered. Again, it's two to six feet. They probably figured it'll be done a month before it melts out. We had heard 900 plus inches of snow up here this year. Glaciers have been growing for the last 20 years. It's a lot of snow on Mount Rainier. We have a really nice observation deck up here. 360 view. Of course, there's Rainier out there. You can't quite see the peak from where I'm standing. It's still there, though. Pine drops here on the road up to Ramparts Bridge.